Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to uh, perform the Geekbench Mark 5 test results on the iQOO 7 device after the recent Android 12 update. Yes, when just today, a couple of hours back, I did install the Android 12 update in the iQOO 7 device. Let me show you the settings as you can clearly see Android 12 and Funtouch 12. And after this update, let's see what are the changes has happened to the Geekbench Mark single core and the multi core performance. That's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video exactly and during this time i'll try to use a monster mode which is present so after this update there's a special mode friends so if you want to utilize full potential of this snapdragon 870 processor you need to use this monster mode so that's the reason i did use the monster mode during this process all the apps are completely clear from the background and it is the geek benchmark 5 application and i'll let it show you the results before how much i got so before android uh, in the android 11 update i used to get 3400 in the multi-core and single-core always used to be 1000 above try to observe so 3473 and 3406 3474 479 so 485 so many times i used to get an average 3400 as an average in the iq 7 device let's see is that kind of possible after this android 12 update in this device or not that's what main intention of making this video is there any single core and multi core decreased or not so let's check out those things and i'm trying to use a monster mode as well again I'll be back after some time just to check what's going on with the overall uh, percentage in the giga benchmark and we are able to reach kind of 100 percentage and i'm really excited friends to see so how will this android 2 will improve any kind of uh, single core and the multi core or will it maintain same kind of numbers or not that's what i'm trying to look after so at least if there is no increase, it should maintain same number. That's what I'm hoping for in the Android 12 update. And finally, we got the score. And I got, it's got kind of really shocking to see this kind of low scores. So you can see the single core slightly decreased. Always it used to be above 1000, but right now it's 966. Multi core, there's a huge decrease. Like three to 400 got decreased, friends. That's that's the problem with the Android 12 update, as you can clearly see. After Android 12. 3 to 4 and it got decreased in the multi core. That's a huge decrease in the iQOO sound device. So, before the phone used to like have really very high scores, but right now, after this Android 12 update, nah, it's not having. So, you can see the multi core before how much from the starting, from the starting to till now, 3501 also I got friends. That's really fantastic in the beginning, around August uh, 16th, you can see. This used to be the score in the iQOO sound device, always. But now it's only 3000 after the Android 12 update. I'm not sure what has happened with the Android 12 update. So overall it got decreased and I need to test in the Android page pack test as well. So in the Android 12, look at the scores always in the Android 12. It's pretty low. So this is friends. Thank you for watching. This is a quick Geekbench pack test on this iQOO 7 device after the Android 12 update overall I am kind of disappointed to see Geek Benchmark scores got decreased. I need to test even the Android Benchmark test. Very soon I'll try to upload the video as soon as possible. Meanwhile, signing off. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates. And bye.